What's up guys, I'm Brad the Bard and today I am with Penzo Gracie Black Belt Frank Rosenthal and he's going to show us some positions and stuff that he's been leveraging to get the W in all these competitions. Alright guys, so we're going to take a look at uh, creating an arm lock opportunity from the back and what I want you guys to focus on is the idea that we need to minimize the amount of opportunity for him to go to his escapes um, when we're moving from the back into the actual submission itself. So here's what I mean. A common problem when we're controlling somebody's back and we want to go to an arm lock is people will switch their hands, they'll try to open their leg all the way over the top, and there's a whole lot of space for him to start to facilitate escapes, whether he pulls his elbow free or turns uh, towards me and I end up in closed guard. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over our training partner's shoulder and take a gift wrap. Now I'm going to take my left knee above his shoulder and I'm just going to pinch my knee towards my heel. So if he tries to bridge, he's pretty well controlled. Once I create this uh, pinch with my left thigh, now I'm going to lock my feet in a top lock. So again, it keeps him in place and I haven't really lost the integrity of the control that I had from my training partner's back. Now the next issue is I have to get my leg all the way over his head, but if I leave a lot of space, it creates yeah, a lot of opportunity for him to peel out. So whenever we get here, I'm just going to take my two feet and tilt his shoulders down to the mat. Now as I sit up, it's a lot less of a distance to fit my leg over and grab my own thigh. If I feel like my training partner is bridging, go ahead, I keep my hand to the floor and I keep his head controlled with my cross face leg. Now I can look to pommel my right foot through, get control of his wrist, put his hands above his head and look to separate those hands, breaking the elbow over the bottom hip. So again, I'm starting on my training partner's back and we have pretty good control whether it's with hooks or body triangle. When I'm ready, I get a gift wrap and I bring my knee above the shoulder and pinch so he's still well controlled. Then I move from a knee pinch to a top lock and I use the top lock to tilt his shoulders down to the floor and pass my foot over the top. From here, my feet will pommel over one shoulder. I get control of the wrist and I just fall to my left shoulder to put his hands above his head. Once his hands are above his head, it's easier for me to use my, uh, use my hips and back to separate the grip and align the elbow over my bottom hip and look to take the finish. All right, thanks a lot. Giant shout out to Fabian for being the cameraman on this one.